some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have Jason Sutherland. Now, a few months ago, whenever I really first started on this channel, one of my first videos was this guy carrying a sword into the library. And the link will be in the description. Now, recently, he had a trial date concerning this issue. And he didn't do so great. And that was mainly because he decided to represent himself in the trial. And you know what they say. A man who represents himself has a fool for a client. Or something of that nature. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. Well, here's an update. October 13th, City of Corvallis, Oregon, the city attorney, Christine Pratt, wanted me to pay for all of this. And yet, I went down to my mailbox today, and it was in the mailbox. So, you're going to have to pause so you can read it. Um, but, uh, here you go. There is the library footage. Uh, body cam footage and CPD footage. I don't know how to upload or download or put it on a drive. Whatever it's called. It's technology. I don't know technology. Which basically means you're off to a bad start anyway. Considering if you don't know how to use it, you don't know how to process it. Therefore, you can't figure out a way to use it on your behalf. Here's the police report. So you're going to have to pause it. There's part one of the first one. And there's part two. There's part one of the second one here. Let me get out there. That way you can like zoom in or make it bigger, enlarge it, whatever it's called. There's part two. Here's the third one. get it back there and there's part two of the third one and here's the last one now mind you they must have seen the video where I called it double dipping if they wanted me to pay since their salary is paid already by us like I said she wanted me to pay $45 $40 or $45 something like that uh, on the 13th for all of this yet it was in my mailbox today in that envelope. So, kind of confusing, but go through it. Read it all. See if you can notice the discrepancies. Said I cussed like 15 times when there was like three or four, maybe five. And it said that I was yelling and that I was speaking loudly. I was using the same voice that I'm using now. Any of you know the Corvallis, Oregon Public Library, you know the location where I was at is a huge echo chamber. So this voice will echo throughout the building. Um, and I'm not yelling, I'm in my own home. I'm speaking normally. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how to like do whatever it is with those discs. I got a friend that knows computer stuff, I'm going to take it over to him later. Um, maybe he knows how to put it on the internet or whatever it's called. I don't know. I ain't afraid to admit it. I'm a technological idiot. Complete fucktard when it comes to this stuff. I got a smartphone run by a dumbass. Not only are you a dumbass when it comes to technology, as you admit, but later on we find out how much of a dumbass you are when it comes to procedures in the courtroom. And in the original video, where you carried the sword into the library, you proved how much of a dumbass you are when it comes to the actual laws. Which is why you should have let a lawyer represent you in court. But if you could not afford one, one could have been hired to represent you free of charge by the court. But you did not go that route, and you will end up paying the price as we shall soon see in the next part of this video. But uh, at least I can admit it. But yeah, go ahead. Check it out, everybody. Don't forget, court November 3rd, jury trial that I specifically requested and that I am recording. 
Uh, and then I'll post as soon as I get home. Have a great day, all. Bye. Several days later. All right, YouTube. I want you to hold on for this one. You're not going to believe it. Oh, I've already watched ahead, and I can believe how much of a dumbass you are, but please carry on. I told you I would post the video of what happened in court yesterday with my criminal trespass. The judge's name is Larry Blake Jr. The city attorney is Christine Pratt, both in Corvallis, Oregon. Yesterday, I represented myself in a jury trial, or should I say I attempted to. The reason I say that is when we chose the jury, well, actually the jury was chosen by the judge. I didn't get a say in it. We chose six people. They sat down. Christine Pratt gives her opening statement. I get about three words into my opening statement and she cuts me off and objects to it because it has to do with the constitution so what you're saying is that your opening statement really had nothing to do with the case that's not the end throughout the entire trial anytime christine pratt would get up to say something to the jury or address a witness not a peep from Judge Larry Blake. Not a word. You could It was so quiet you could hear a cricket fart behind him. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is the job of the defense attorney to object to a statement presented by the prosecution, just as the prosecution objected to your statements. So, maybe you should learn procedure? When I stood up, Every time I stood up to address either a witness or a jury, I was interrupted by either Blake or Pratt. I wasn't allowed to get a damn thing out of my mouth to present my case because I kept getting cut off. Here's the, here's the, here's the best part. I had my phone sitting on the table. Wasn't recording nothing. Just sitting there. But you did say in the last video that you would record the proceedings. So that kind of makes you a liar right there. So please do carry on. Near the end of the trial, she calls a sidebar, takes me and the judge into a room in the back, and brings to his attention that my cell phone's sitting on the table next to me. He turns and looks at me and points I want to say this far from my face and tell with his fat fucking sausage finger tells me you better not be recording just like that. Same phrase, facial expression, everything. Very unprofessional. I told him I am not recording. It's just sitting there, but I have the right V Smith be coming. Every citizen has the right to record their public officials in the course of their duty which that ruling is still subject to time place and manner and the courtroom has never been the place for it. it is considered to be a a non-public forum now in the open public forums such as sidewalks parks or whatever you can film the police to your heart's content as long as you don't interfere in their investigations he turns and looks at me this comes out of a fucking judge's mouth. Turns and looks at me, still pointing with his fat fucking sausage finger. You're not going to record without my permission. Do you understand? If I find out you're recording, I'm going to hold you in contempt and I'm going to throw you in jail. That was his words exactly. I said, fine. I turned around, went back into the courtroom, sat down, and to myself, I mumbled. Oh, the corruption in this town. He held me in contempt for exercising First Amendment free speech. I didn't say anything bad. I just simply said the corruption in this town. 
And this, sir, is why you should have hired a lawyer or gotten one from the public defender's office because you know jack squat about procedures. That is why you lost the damn case, you moron! Not because of corruption, but because you did not know procedures or courtroom etiquette. I just got out of jail. I was taken from court yesterday into handcuffs, booked into Corvallis Police Department, the jail, which is filthy, by the way. It's absolutely fucking disgusting, people. The cell I was in, it looked like there was blood on the wall, maybe some old food stuck to the roof. The bunk above me was just nasty. The vent was so thick of dust, I swear there was a fucking bunny in there. They released me shortly before 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Here's the better part. I asked for a copy of my booking papers with my picture on it because they took my mugshot, social security number, everything. They went through my wallet and got everything out of it. So I asked for a copy of it and I was told we don't have that. I kid you not, people, you can't make this fucking shit up. So please, if you want to redress your grievances with your government, his name is Larry Blake Jr. of the Corvallis Municipal Court. Her name is Christine Pratt of the Corvallis District Attorney's Office or Deputy Attorney, something, Corvallis City Attorney's Office. Christine Pratt. Feel free to call. Feel free to express your disapproval of their failure to do their job. Oh, and by the way, um, the, the ultimate part was when the judge dismissed the jury to go back and deliberate, they left the courtroom in a door and went into a room. I don't know if the door was closed or not, but immediately after, the judge gets up and goes through that same fucking door. He comes back a minute later, not even a minute, maybe 45 seconds, sits down and says, we already have a, just, they already have a, a verdict. Excuse me? Isn't that judicial misconduct? You went out the same door they did, and I, as soon as they left, and when you come back, they all of a sudden have a verdict? I was found guilty. I'm appealing. I'm going to send this shit to the fucking higher court because Judge Blake is corrupt as fuck. Christine Pratt, corrupt as fuck. They both conspired under Article 18 U.S.C. 13-241, conspiracy against my rights. And when I told him that I had evidence to prove my innocence on my phone that I need to show the jury, he told me he was going to throw me in jail if he saw me touch my phone. So, have fun with that all. Uh, by the way, I was thrown in jail. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds to me like you went with a supreme case of the Dunning-Kruger effect and it came back and bit you in the ass. You thought you could handle this on your own without a lawyer? Well, you definitely found out that you were wrong, but you don't want to admit it. That's on you. That's not a sign of a corrupt system. That's just your dumbass not understanding courtroom procedure, etiquette, or anything else. That's just you. That's where the video ends. I don't have any information as far as what his sentence is, but once he posts that, hopefully soon, I will be able to come up and tell you how much time he got, if he got any time at all.